what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking a long straight very thin wire on the y-axis carries a 9 ampere current in the positive y direction the circular loop 0.5 meter in radius also of very thin wire and lying on the yz plane carries 15 ampere current clockwise in the yz plane point p is on the positive x-axis at a distance of 1.4 meter from the center of the loop what is the magnitude of the net magnetic field at the point P due to the due to these two currents? Now before we do this problem, let's go ahead and draw a diagram for this one so we can illustrate this one better. Now here we have XYZ axis. Okay, let's draw our XYZ axis first. Okay. This is our Z axis. And this is our Y axis okay y this one should be y y axis and this is our x axis okay and the first the first sentence says a long straight very thin wire on the y axis so the long wire is on the y axis so let's say this is our long wire this is on the y axis and this wire carries 9 ampere current and a circular loop 0.5 meter in radius also very thin wire lying on the yc plane so in this plane we have a circular loop okay, let's draw the loop and that is a circular loop okay and this is our loop and the radius of this loop is 0 0.5 meter so 0 0.5 meter from here to here from the center to here this is 0 0.5 meter okay and this carries 15 ampere current clockwise so this one carries 15 ampere current clockwise and also we have point P on the positive x-axis at a distance of 1.4 so from let's say from here to here let's say this distance from here to here it's 1.4 meter and in 1.4 meter we have a point P okay and the question here is asking us to find out the magnitude of the magnetic field at point P due to these two currents here we have a 15 ampere current going through this loop and also we have a 9 ampere current going through this long wire now we are going to trying to find the magnetic field due to these two currents in this point P okay now let's start with the long wire for a very long wire for a long wire to find the magnetic field we can use this equation b is equal to mu naught i over 2 phi x and the direction of this magnetic field depends on the current's direction and the point we are looking at here the current's direction is in the y axis so that's j cross the point is in the positive x axis so this is going to be i and you will get negative k but before i do that let's make sure we make this one clear this is for long thin wire okay long thin wire thin wire now let's solve this one okay mu naught is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and the current due to the long thin wire current going through the long thin wire is 9 ampere 9 and j cross i is negative k so we put a negative in front and this is in the k direction 2 phi and the distance we here is the distance from the center to the p that is 1.4 1.4 meter and if you calculate this one you will get negative 12.857 times 10 to the power of minus 6 minus 7 tesla 
and in minus 6 that's going to be negative 1.2857 times 10 to the power of minus 6 or just say micro tesla okay now this this magnetic field is due to the long thin wire now we have to find the magnetic field due to the circular loop so we can find the final magnitude now to find the magnetic magnetic field due to the circular loop we had to use this equation so let's write circular loop circular loop b is equal to mu naught i r square let's call this i i1 this this is i2 since we have two different currents this is 9 ampere 15 ampere okay i2 times r square divided by 2 times r square plus x square power 3 by 2 and the direction is in the i direction okay and let's uh, here the direction doesn't matter because when we try when we find the magnitude the direction is going to be eliminated anyway right so direction doesn't matter let's try to solve this one mu naught is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and i2 is 15 ampere and r is the radius the radius is 0 0.5 0 0.5 square and uh, we have two radius square 0 0.5 square x is this distance 1.4 1.4 square power 3 by 2 and if you calculate this one you should get 7.1717 one seven times ten to the power of minus seven tesla in micro tesla this is going to be zero point seven one seven and if we round for three significant three de, three decimal places this is going to be zero point seven one seven micro tesla and this is this one is due to the long thin wire this is this magnetic field is due to the circular loop now to find the magnitude we are going to just square these two and square root so b let's call this one b1 b2 so the magnitude is going to be b1 square plus b2 square and here our b1 is negative 1.2857 square plus 0 0.717 square and also we have micro so we had to put 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, it doesn't matter because by final answer you are going to get in micro but if you want to put the power it's better to put the power okay let's put 10 to the power of minus 6 10 to the power of minus 6 square plus 0 0.717 times 10 to the power of minus 6 square and if you calculate this one you will get 1.47 micro tesla that's going to be the magnitude of the magnetic field at the point p due to these two currents now let's write the final answer again 1.47 micro tesla is our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching